don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MAP. It's Amber Zinke with Evolve Electrical. Today we're going to be talking about the Evolve Grid. This is going to be a part one of an Evolve Grid series, but today we're going to be focusing on the filter editor and the show find panel and also the show auto filter row as well. So those are the three things that we're going to be focusing on today. And two things being said, I am in my point manager right now, but what we're going to be going over today will be for any of your Evolve Grids. So with that being said, we're going to right click and select our filter editor. So you're gonna see we have our filter editor right here and now we can define our filter. So I'm going to first select this number right here and what that is is my name of my column header. So you're gonna see number, host, status, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna stick with number and I'm going to stick with begins with but you can see we have other different variations of how you want to filter this up. So I'm gonna say begins with, and I'm gonna have AN be what it's looking for. So what this is going to do is it's gonna look for information beginning with AN in the number column. So I'm gonna get rid of the PV and you can see the only information will be is my AN. You can turn on and off the filter right within here, right here, you can see it starts with number sequence. So you can come in there and turn that check mark on or off. You can come here and add different conditionings as well. So it could be looking for your numbering begins with A end and also something else. So you can really get filtered down to be exactly what is needed as well. Also, you're able to hit the drop down and choose from other filters that you previously created. You're gonna see a red X to the right of the filter. And if you hit that, it'll delete that filter. Also, if you hit the X to the left of the filter, it'll turn off the filter for you. So moving along, we're going to do our show find panel. So if I have that selected, my panel will pop up here and I can start to look for information. So I can do my AN01. And since that's a pretty specific text, it's going to pop up probably with one result. But this information will be looking throughout your entire grid. So if you wanna be pretty generic, you can say 01 and it's gonna pop up any of the 01s that exist. But let's do another one. I'm gonna do my 2022. And since I have that within my export date, it's gonna look, it's gonna highlight yellow for me to let me know that this is where it is within that grid. All right, last one we're gonna go over today is the show auto filter row. Once you select it, this row will appear and this row will allow you to be able to set detailed filters per column. So to start, I'm going to have my status be equal to placed. So you can see now all of my place will be filtered this way. And now I'm gonna go into my number. I'm gonna select the icon to the left and say, instead of does not contain, I'm gonna say contains, and I'm going to just put the number two. So now it's gonna filter down to my status being placed and my number has to contain a two. So you're also gonna see something interesting in the bottom here. So this is going to be have your status equal to place and contains number number two. So why this is cool is you can go to your filter editor and you see the information that you set up in your show auto filter row all within here. You can actually add in different conditions. So my X is less than or equal to 15 right within your filter editor. And it's gonna be showing up right within your row here. So you can also adjust the numbers within the row as well. And it will be shown up within the filter editor as well. So it's based on preference if you wanna use the editor or the row itself, cause they go hand in hand with each other. So that is today's fun feature Friday on the part one of the grid system for Evolve. If you have any questions or want to see more, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.